right behind us is a former Indian burial ground. I believe the last of the bodies were removed in the early 1900s and now reside in a museum. But people who still come here today claim to see shadowy figures and hear voices within the woods. We're gonna go check it out. Now, some people believe that because the bodies of those Indians that were buried here were removed, their spirits can't find rest and thus walk around in these woods. Right, do we know exactly where the uh, burial ground starts? Because, I mean, right now this is just a path. I think it would go... I think we should follow the path up and see how far it goes in. It's definitely always good to have a camera rolling at all times, just because if you do hear something or see something, maybe you'll be lucky enough to catch it on tape. This is Brooke and Brian, Indian burial ground in Staten Island. If there are any spirits here that still remain in this area that wish to make their presence known, Please do so now. And adjacent to these burial grounds is the conference house where British soldiers were stationed during the Revolutionary War. So I'd be curious to, to know if there's actually any British soldiers still here. Any subjects of the Queen still remaining? I know nothing about the workings of electricity uh, in, in a home situation. So when I die, should I be expected to know how to operate handheld gadgetry uh, enough to use my energy to light something up? I've always had a bit of a problem with the, this whole K2 methodology. Not to say that we don't use it, but especially with, with, with beings that weren't exposed to electricity in life, who's to say that they even know what we're talking about? Now it's a beautiful night weather-wise out here tonight, and it makes me wonder, are spirits aware of the weather? Like, would they realize if it was raining, or if it was cold, or if it was snowing? I'm just gonna sit down and, uh, listen for a little while. So you're gonna slack off on the job, essentially. I'm gonna slack off on the job. <laughs> um, one thing, um, I don't know if we mentioned this earlier, Right across the way, it's Perth Amboy, New Jersey. It's not very far at all. And noises from New Jersey, you can hear them echo around here, and I think sometimes people mistake that for paranormal activity. Occasionally, you'll hear some kind of nocturnal animal uh, crawling around in the woods. Again, Nothing paranormal, that's just nature, man. It's been said that people are somewhat attracted to this ledge. Yeah, they come and they stare out at the water. You know, nothing suicidal, nothing crazy like that, but people are, are always drawn to this area. And I'm not sure why, there's really no, nothing substantial about it. This is a, this is a big contrast to uh, Assonant Ledge in Freetown State Forest. Like over there on that ledge, I felt nervous. I felt, you know, definitely, forgive the pun, on edge. I don't feel that here. <laughs> Hollywood is not going to teach you anything. So, you know, Ghost, Beetlejuice, Ghostbusters, we love it. It's not a manual, so we gotta keep doing what we're doing. <laughs>